What's up, YouTube? Ryan back today with the Week 23 Minor League Recap. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. An awesome week of minor league performances. Week 23. This season's flying by and we're nearing the end. So, week 23, awesome performances. I will say AAA was super weak this week. And we only have one player to talk about at AAA. It's a big player, though, so I'm excited. Just got moved up to AAA, and he's doing really well. So we're going to jump into the video pretty quick here. The dates for this video is going to be September 4th to September 10th. So if I missed anyone in this video between those dates, drop their name and stat line down below so both myself and whoever's watching this video can check out those players. Heck yeah. All right, let's jump into low A. Our first player at low A is a player that shouldn't be at low A and a pretty much a weekly player player on our recaps now edgar cuero cuero this week over four games only hit 231 but he had a 476 on base percentage and a 1015 ops he had a home run a double three hits in four games walked four times got bean three times dude super good he should be in high a i don't know why the angels are keeping him low way and yeah i think he's the best prospect in the angel system next up benny montgomery's coming on really strong at the end of the season here home run to center field Gotta love it. Montgomery this week over five games, 400 batting average, 478 on base percentage, 1128 OPS. He had a home run, two doubles, eight hits in five games, five RBIs, walked twice, got beaned once. Yeah. Benny Montgomery, love him as a player. I'm still waiting for him to find his in-game power, like really find it because he's a big kid, 6'4", 200. Love to see it. Benny Montgomery, super promising prospect. All right, new name here. Any baseball card collectors know in 2021 Bowman Chrome, this was a pretty big name in the product manuel beltre he got moved up to low a and he's absolutely crushing it over four games this week 438 batting average 471 on base percentage 1158 ops he had a home run a double seven hits in four games he walked once hit three rbis this is a very interesting name he just turned 18 he did struggle at rookie ball this year did not do great but since he's moved up to low a he's been been doing very well so just figure i throw him on the video Next up, Harry Ford, and I have to show this throw. Look at this absolute cannon. I timed it. It's about a 1.75 to 1.8 pop time. For anyone that doesn't know pop times, that is absolutely elite, top tier in the MLB right now. So anyone questioning if Harry Ford can play defense? Well, I think that throw was kind of your answer for the arm portion of it. Anyways, over five games this week, 500 batting average, 565 on base percentage, 1165 OPS. Didn't have any home runs, which is fine. He had two doubles, 10 hits in five games, walked three times, stole two bases. Harry Ford's a stud. He's had an awesome second half of the season, and he keeps doing his thing. Next up, Jackson Holiday makes a video over four games this week. 364 batting average, 632 on base percentage, 1268 OPS. No home runs, no triples, but he did have three doubles, four hits in four games, walked eight times, and stole base. Jackson Holiday showing that he can get on base at a very high level already. A sight for sore eyes, Khalil Watson. Nuke. Khalil Watson over six games this week, 417 batting average, 462 on base percentage, 833 slugging, 1295 OPS. He had a home run, three triples, a double, 10 hits in six games, walked once, had four RBIs, got beamed once. Khalil Watson's a stud, and when he's playing well, definitely one of the best players out of that 21 draft class. Just can he be consistent? That's all we're looking at right now. Speaking of draft classes, Gavin Cross has been the best player that is come out of this 2022 draft class so far this season dude's been on just a different level cross this week over five games 381 batting average 458 on base percentage 13 15 ops he had two home runs a triple two doubles eight hits in five games five rbis walk three times this dude's looking like an absolute stud yes he did go to college he's 21 years old but he is destroying the baseball at the pro level so far and our MVP this week, and I know it's going to make a lot of people that watch my channel very happy, Kevin Alcantara, his third Grand Slam of the year. Alcantara this week only played three games, but he went crazy in those three games. 364 batting average, 417 on base percentage, 1326 OPS. He had two home runs, four hits in those three games, six RBIs, walked once. Kevin Alcantara, absolute stud. Super happy to see him just pop off this week. Just turned 20. Only 60 days into his 20-year-old season. Still very young. Jumping into high A, and I want to throw this one in here really quick. They finally moved Grant McRae up. So I had to throw that in there. Did good this week, too. 333 batting average, 440 on base percentage, 964 OPS. And a home run, a double, seven hits in five games. Walked three times, six RBIs, got beamed once, stole four bases. 
I love Grant McRae still as a prospect. I cannot wait to see what he's going to do for the Giants in the future. I just think he's a stud. Another top pick in that 2022 draft class, Brooks Lee. Oh my goodness. Brooks Lee over six games, 333 batting average, 440 on base, percentage, 1059 OPS. He had a home run, three doubles, seven hits in six games, walked four times, had four RBIs. Brooks Lee looks very good so far in his very short pro career, but he looks great. Back in the 2020 draft, I said Austin Hendrick had the most power in the draft, and I still believe that. I don't even know where this ball landed. I think it went over that building. Austin Hendrick over six games this week, 300 batting average, 440 on base percentage, 1190 OPS, two home runs, three doubles, six hits in six games, walked five times, stole three bases. The talent's absolutely there. It's just can he piece it together? It's been very inconsistent over his pro career so far, but still ceiling is insanely high. Worst camera video of the week goes to Marcelo Meyer. Absolutely murders that baseball, though. I don't know what happened with the right fielder there. He just couldn't even find the ball, but it was crushed. Meyer over five games this week. I would say this is probably his best week of the entire season. 421 batting average, 522 on base percentage, 1206 OPS. Hit a home run, two doubles, eight hits in five games. Walked four times, one being intentionally had three RBIs on top of that. Really good week. Next up, and I was sad I couldn't find a video of any of his home runs this week because he had... One home run from the left-handed batter's box and one from the right in the same game. Over six games this week, 333 batting average, 429 on base percentage, 1220 OPS. He had three home runs, a triple, eight hits in six games, six RBIs, walk four times, stole a base. Jason Dominguez is that dude when he's playing well. The talent is clearly there. Another player would just, can he be more consistent? And our MVP at high A this week, Noel V. Marte. Noel V. Marte has been super good the second half of this season and that ball was just annihilated Marte this week over four games 539 batting average 625 on base percentage 1394 OPS he had a home run seven hits in four games four RBIs walk three times stole two bases he's only 20 years old still Nova Marte the talent is just crazy with him very high ceiling middle infielder Love and love Marte. Leading off double A, Robert Hassel hits his first double A home run. Hassel over six games this week, 318 batting average, 423 on base percentage, 969 OPS. He had a home run, two doubles, seven hits in six games, walked four times, stole a base. He struggled a little bit in his first week at double A. Second week here, looks pretty good. Next up, Oscar Colas couldn't find a video of him this week. Over six games, 417 batting average, 417 on base percentage, 1042 OPS. He had a home run, two doubles, 10 hits in six games, and he stole a base. Jeremiah Jackson has a lot of power, and he hits home runs. It's what he does. One of the best power-hitting shortstops in the minor leagues. Over six games this week, 318 batting average, 375 on base percentage, 1057 OPS. He had two home runs, two doubles, seven hits in six games, six RBIs, walked twice, stole a base. Jeremiah Jackson has a crazy tool set. Again, I feel like it's the trend of, of this week's video. Can he be more consistent? John Kenzie Noel is what he does. This dude hits nukes, and this ball got out in a hurry. No over six games this week, 318 batting average, 444 on base percentage, 1126 OPS. He had two home runs, two doubles, seven hits in six games, walked five times. No, I was getting comfortable. This guy's starting to look really, really solid at the double A level, and I'm here for it. Apparently, the D-backs want to keep Jordan Lawler at double A. I did not expect that, but he hit three home runs this week, and this one was a nuke. Over five games this week, 300 batting average, 417 on base percentage, 1167 OPS, hit three home runs, six hits in five games, walked four times, had four RBIs, stole a base. Jordan Lawler is that guy. Jordan Lawler is going to be one of the top prospects in baseball until he debuts in the major leagues. He is so good. Very few holes in his game. Trying to figure it out on defense still, but man, can this dude hit. Next up, Yoaki Cespedes had a good week this week. Over five games, 385 batting average, 500 on base percentage, 1192 OPS. He had a home run, a double, five hits in five games, had four RBIs, walked once, got bean twice, stole four bases. I don't know why they don't want to bring him up. He's kind of just been sitting at double A. Like, move him to triple A, at least. Next up, Tyler Soderstrom, Oppo Taco, put it all together this week at double A. Yeah, love that home run. Soderstrom over four games this week, 417 batting average, 417 on base percentage. 1333 OPS. He had two home runs, five hits in four games, four RBIs on top of that. So, Soderstrom's ceiling is insane. You know, we've seen prospect lists where he's in the top 10. Really awesome week. Once again, 
Can he continue to stay consistent? And our MVP at AA, Logan Ohop. This dude is so good. And let me remind you all, 23rd round pick. A 23rd round pick back in 2018 is now in the top 100. Just think about that. That is amazing. I absolutely love that. Ohop over five games this week, 444 batting average, 546 on base percentage, 1379 OPS. He had two home runs, a double, eight hits in five games, had 10 RBIs, walked four times, and he's amazing at defense. I am here for Logan Ohop. I'm a big fan. And the one player we're talking about this week at AAA, Anthony Volpe hits his first, second, and third home run at AAA this week. Let's go. Volpe over five games this week, 350 batting average, 458 on base percentage, 1158 OPS. He had two home runs, a double, seven hits in five games, had three RBIs, walked four times, stole three bases. Just an Anthony Volpe week. The dude is very good. He gets on base a lot. He can hit for power at times. He can steal a lot of bases, play solid defense. Like Anthony Volpe is that guy. He's going to be on the Yankees next season. I don't think they're going to give him a chance this year. But who knows? Maybe they'll give him a couple at bats. We'll see. All right, everyone. That's going to do it for the week 23 minor league recap. Awesome week, honestly. Some huge performances and a lot of big performances from guys that are inconsistent. But when they're consistent for one week, they're insane. So that was kind of the trend this week. But a lot of those guys are in the top 100. So, yeah, this the ceilings are crazy on those type of players. It's like, are they going to figure out? Because if they do, probably going to be insane. So, yeah, that's going to do it this week, everybody. Again, dates for this video, September 4th to September 10th. If I forgot any players between those dates, drop their name and stat line down below. Yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Have a great week. And NFL season's back. Let's go. I'm going to go watch some games. See ya.